One of Premiere's standout features is the ability to toggle between raw media files and smaller proxy files with the click of a button. While Premiere can work natively with a wide variety of media files and codecs, there is the matter of hardware limitations that can bog things down. Large formats such as RED files or heavily compressed formats such as AVCHD or H.264 are difficult for most systems to edit with. Working with proxies can ensure a smooth playback and editing experience. It is therefore recommended to transcode the footage into something that's easier to work with, typically ProRes or DNX HD, and at a lower resolution. With Premiere's proxy workflow, each clip can be simultaneously linked to the full resolution and transcoded footage, such that you can edit with the proxy footage and automatically export with the full resolution media. After importing your original media into Premiere, you have the option to select all the video clips, right-clicking, and going to Proxy, Create Proxies. You'll see that there are already several standard presets available, and selecting any of these will make for a smooth editing experience. All you have to do from here is select a destination for your proxy files, and if you hit OK, Premiere will send all of these clips to be transcoded in the background via Media Encoder. As soon as each clip is rendered, it will automatically be linked to your clips in Premiere as proxy clips. With the Toggle Proxy button, you can switch back and forth between the proxy clips and original media. You can keep it toggled to proxy mode for a smooth editing experience and switch back to the original media if, for example, you want to see how far you can zoom into a shot and still have the image hold up, or if you want to do some color correction and see how far you can push the look with the full resolution media. If we go back to the Create Proxies window, we'll see that there is also the option to add an ingest preset. This is useful for customizing the proxy creation beyond the standard presets. You can customize frame size, add LUTs, add text and watermarks, and add simple effects such as timecodes. The ingest preset will actually have to be created in Media Encoder, but I recommend starting your process in Premiere to preview how your proxied media is going to look. To create a custom ingest preset, select a video clip in the project panel, right click, and select Export Media at the bottom. In this case, I am working with 1920 by 1080 clips, but they are in the AVC HD format and are a little difficult to play smoothly, especially when I want to scroll through the footage quickly. So let's say I want to have proxies that are 1280 by 720 in the ProRes proxy format, and want timecode and the word proxy burned into the proxies. I would create that as an export preset first. One thing to note about the frame size for presets that we're going to use for ingesting. The preset cannot be left at match source. You have to choose a specific frame size up front. In this case, I want to preserve the aspect ratio, but want to work with a smaller frame size for my proxies. So I would go to QuickTime under Format, and under the Video tab, choose Apple ProRes Proxy 422 Proxy, which is my preferred editing codec. I can either enter in the frame size that I want, or I can click Match Source to get me started if I was, for example, working with a different aspect ratio and didn't know what the width should be relative to 720 for height. I just have to make sure to uncheck the box that automatically gave me the height and width. And as long as the Link button is on, I can just change the height to 720 and I'll automatically get the correct width in relation. The remaining options can be left checked to match this source. Next, I'll go over to the Effects tab, and here I have the option to bake in a LUT, or add an image overlay if there is a watermark or logo to add. I'm going to scroll down to the Name Overlay and check that box to activate it. Then I can choose Prefix and Suffix only as the format, and type in Proxy either under the Prefix or Suffix box, and adjust the settings to my liking. Next, I will go to the timecode overlay setting and check that to enable and adjust the settings. Now that I have my proxy template built, I can save this as a preset. I like to specify that this is for export, as you'll later need to create an ingest version of this preset to use for proxy creation. So I will call this ProRes Proxy 1280 by 720 with timecode for export.
make sure that Save Effects Settings is checked. I can now cancel out of the Media Export window and head over to Media Encoder to turn this into an ingest preset. In Media Encoder, go to the Preset menu and select Create Ingest Preset. I'll go ahead and name this now as ProRes Proxy 1280x720 with timecode for ingest. If you have a primary location that you'd like your ingested media to go, you can choose that destination here. Otherwise, you can leave this as the default selection. Each time you create proxies, you'll get the opportunity to choose where to put them, so this doesn't matter right now. Go ahead and choose QuickTime as the format, and since we've created our export preset for this format, we'll see it right here under this drop-down menu. Select the preset we've just created, and now you'll know that your proxy media will look exactly as we made it in our export preset. Click OK to create this ingest preset. Now this preset is actually a file that can be imported into Premiere. On a Mac it can be found under Documents, Adobe, Media Encoder, and then the correct version number you use to create the preset, and then under the preset folder. You'll see all the custom presets as .epr files. You can also quickly find this file by going to the newly created preset in the Preset Browser, right-clicking on the preset, and selecting Reveal Preset File. To bring this into Premiere, select all the clips that you'd like to create a proxy for. Right-click and go to Proxy, Create Proxies. Click on the Add Ingest Preset button and navigate to the .epr file that we've just created. Select that, and you're all set. Choose the destination you want for your proxied media, and click OK. The proxy files will be generated in the background and automatically linked to your clips. To use proxies, add the Toggle Proxy button under the monitors by using the Button Editor. As you can see, when we are toggled over to proxy mode, we can quickly and easily see that we are looking at the proxied media. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Inside Hollywood's Cutting Rooms on the Adobe Creative Cloud channel for more Premiere Pro tutorials and cutting room conversations.